We've been dodging showers all day, and this morning we had some rumbles of thunder. Well, we got more coming this evening as we finally bring the front through the area. Temperatures have been in the mid-30s early to start the day, but northern sections have had a tougher time warming up. Highs you see ranging 43 in Lansing, 38 in Alma, and then pushing in the upper 40s. Our temperatures, I think, still can go up a couple more degrees this evening with this southwest flow until the rain gets here. And you see where that is. Milwaukee, Chicago, that's a line of showers and some lightning and thunder in there. So that'll come in mid-evening, probably 8 to 9 o'clock with some good downpours. You could even get a little small hail out of this because it won't be very hard to make that since the uh, cold air is right above our heads. Once that goes by, the rain tapers off tonight and then we'll chase the clouds away after sunrise tomorrow. Temperatures in the afternoon been holding in the low 40s north and mid to upper 40s to the south. Our low tonight will dip briefly into the upper 30s once the rain stops. So we're really gonna stay in the 40 degree range going into the morning and then get it up close to 50 tomorrow with a west wind and some afternoon sunshine. As you look at the scattered showers around the stronger ones out over the lake, so the evening will be wet. If you get under one of those, it's a good downpour for a little while anyways, and then it moves off to the east. Once that changes with the front coming through, it's going to be a strong west wind that'll bring enough dry air in to get us back into the sunshine. So hour by hour, there you go, between 8 o'clock to the west and 9 o'clock to the east, these showers and storms come through. Then still a few lingering showers. Cloudy skies is what we'll wake up to. We give it an hour or two, and then those gusty west winds will chase all of that away, as you see here as we go through the overnight period. Sunshine is out with that west wind all day tomorrow should reach around 50 for a high that's normal but may not quite feel like it because of the wind friday that same direction brings a lot of high clouds in then the winds will shift to the northwest later in the day and eventually the north so the winds are going to come off the lake going into late friday and saturday so it gives you a better chance of seeing some clouds come inland although the shower should stay right near the lake shore our saturday this should be a partly sunny day, same thing Sunday, and again, temperatures staying in the 40s. You can see the seven-day forecast, uh, very windy tomorrow. It's still noticeable wind on Friday, but quiet's over the weekend. And then with the wind out of the west and southwest next week, we're on a warm-up that could have us near 60 by the end of the work week.